What's up, YouTube? Bruiser here, back with more. Let's play Pokemon Black and White 2. And this will be the second to last part. If my battery life can actually support this little part. And this time it's time to battle Marshall. I'll be battling the rest of the Elite Four in this part. First Pokemon of this guy will be Throw. And I'll be using my very own Golduck. Technically that took two hits because the first hit missed. And throw is down. Next is Mine Shao. Now to disable high jump kick. That was a little unexpected, but for the Elite Four, you're supposed to expect the unexpected. Well, Conkelder must not have more speed than my Golduck. Time to knock you out the park. Next is Sock. Try not to do much damage to this thing. That's why I'm using my Daffy's weakest attack. Hopefully this doesn't isn't worth a one-hit KO to anyone who doesn't have sturdy. The sock will draw out this battle for pretty long. At the least, three, at three attacks. One attack doesn't knock him out. And we defeat Marshall. After his speech, we'll cut off to get to Chantal. And we're back. I'm ready for the final member of the Elite Four. I think it'll be Black Dragon if it's Black too, <laughs> because he just she just spoke out the exact description of N. For the Pokemon will be Cuffagrigus. My first Pokemon will be Daffy. But wait, Daffy using Night Days? Well, isn't that only learned by Zoroark? Well, yes. You see, this isn't really Daffy. Now to send out the real Daffy.
Marshall was really the bulk of this part, considering his fox sturdy ability. Time to switch back to Zoroark. The illusion is worn off. This looks like a job for Daffy the Golduck. And this is Chantal's final Pokemon. So really, Marshall took up the bulk of the part. And Chantal is down. Next is the champion. Once we return to the plaza, we will not be battling the champion yet. Until next time, Bruiser signing off.